nutrition, learning about new nutri new I can't think of the word. One hour later. The nutrients for your body. What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Zid back at it again with another video. I'm back at it again with another video, and I am in St. Louis right now. I'm actually visiting um, for Thanksgiving. So I'll start this video off by saying happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Um, or if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, happy holidays for whatever you celebrate. Um, and if you don't celebrate anything, happy Thursday, right? But um, yeah, so I just flew in yesterday and I was able to go to the gym. I'll post a little bit of that content as well at, near the end of this video. And um, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it, honestly. That's pretty much it. Um, so I wanna get right into the video. Um, right now we're getting close to the time for semesters to be ending and semesters to beginning. So I feel like this would be a good time for us to go ahead and talk about prerequisite classes for nursing school. And um, as you know, a bulk of my content is made for CNAs and potential nurses and people that just wanna look into the healthcare field in general. But uh, I'm gonna actually start opening up more about the nursing school journey, the nursing school experience. So if you feel like you wanna you know, get in with that, go ahead and subscribe, go ahead and like, go ahead and comment on any videos that you see. I have over 50 or maybe almost 60 videos now all about nursing, all about being a CNA, my experience of being a nursing student as well. So go ahead and check those out. Also follow me on the gram at double I Z L E U R Y. Um, that's enough pubbing. Anything else is probably gonna be in the description below, but we're gonna talk about prerequisite classes. So let's get into it. All right, so for prerequisite classes, um, every nursing school, every nursing program is gonna be different. Um, typically, there's a base of, I forgot the amount of classes, let's go over them right now. Microbiology is typically one, anatomy and physiology one, anatomy and physiology two. I know that at some schools they are separate uh separate you can take them separate so you have an anatomy one class an anatomy two class and a physiology class one and a physiology class two so typically that's not the norm every time i've spoken to somebody that's in the program the classes were together i think for most schools they teach them together amp1 amp2 so we got micro amp1 amp2 chemistry which i'm learning that is not <sighs> is not required for every single nursing school that you apply to. Actually, it's not a plot, it's not, it's not a part of, I would say a good amount of schools that I looked at did not require chemistry. Um, but then again, some did. I do know some schools, they have a spe nursing specific chemistry that you can take, but it's not considered a prerequisite. It's more of just a curriculum once you get into the nursing program. Um, another one that I know is going to be nutrition is definitely one. And I feel like I'm missing one, psychology. So you have developmental psych, which is basically, you know, the psychology of humans from childhood to adulthood and beyond. Um, I think that's all the progresses that I've seen so far. Um, but we're gonna talk about each one of them. Uh, my, and I'm gonna go over my personal experience with them as well. So if you wanted some personal experience, I know you guys ask me about this all the time. I'm going to go over it and let you guys know about the personal experiences that I have with these classes. And I'm gonna start by saying that um, chemistry, yo, don't bang with it, don't rock with it at all. It's one of the hardest classes I've ever taken in my life, has to be, and I just, I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan. And I've spoken to other nurses too, I'm not you know, fully sure why it's required, simply because over time, you would learn more about uh, how medicines affect different patients and stuff like that, but you know, going over how to balance the equation, like the periodic table, which I get why it's important, but I think it can be te taught a lot better in regards of like nursing. So I do like the programs and I see the importance of the programs that require it. 
but I also see the importance of the programs that don't require chemistry because essentially I'm you would be learning to be a, like more like a scientist than a nurse. Um, but then again, I don't want to speak badly about you know the prereqs, but every school is different, every program is different, and every chemistry class that you're going to take is different. But on the grander scheme of things, most of the nurses that I know they don't like uh, chemistry and. They don't even really, I asked them, you know, is there uh, the stuff that you're learning now, the stuff that I, I showed them some of the stuff, is this something that you like use in your day to day? And they said, no, not at all. It's kind of like, you know, you go to college, you get the job and you not doing nothing regarding, you know, that job at all, that what you, you majored in at all. But that's neither here nor there. Most of these classes that I've heard um, and that I've listed, they are kind of like a weed out, uh, it's a weed out system. So they want you to take the classes, only the you know the, the best students do well on them. You need to be testing well on these classes. Um, I wanna say B or A, I do think is you know, the bar is dropping a little bit because of the nursing shortage that it is, but that just makes it a little easier for people to get in. Um, but try to do the best you can on the classes because it's gonna determine how you know you do in nursing school and if you're going to be accepted into a nursing program in general i do know that undergrad now that's when we talk about different options undergrad they want you to have all a's if you you know go if you're at a, a four-year university and you want to do the nursing program that's two years three years you might you they want you to have a 3.8 3.9 4.0 you don't have that it's going to be hard for you to get into those programs but there are other options like an absn which is the, which is the accelerated version uh of the bachelor's they have ADN, which, you know, is more like taught at your community colleges or like health colleges and stuff like that. So it's not necessarily a BSN and out kind of thing. You have a lot of options in regards of the different nursing majors or nursing degrees that you want to have. Um, but yeah, let's continue going on the list. Anatomy and physiology is definitely something that you're going to use in your nursing program. It's something that you're going to use as a nurse. A lot of the terms that you, you learn about in class, a lot of the body parts you learn about in class, a lot of the different systems that you learn about in class, they're you know taught heavily in AMP one and AMP two. And if you don't have a good grasp on that, it's gonna be a li little more difficult for you once you enter those nursing courses. Now you have, uh, I think anatomy one and two is more like the outer body, bones, skin, uh, and uh, touch on some organs, but once you hit anatomy two, that's focusing more on your systems, your reproductive system, your urinary system, digestive, lymphatic. It's a bunch of different things that you know you are gonna learn in those AMP one and AMP two classes. And I thought they were pretty interesting. I didn't have a problem with them. I enjoyed them a lot, and I tested that as a B. I think I got a B in both of them. But I really like that class. I really, you know, I enjoy it. So um that's something that you know you definitely want to focus in on and you're going to use amp1 and amp2 once you get into it microbiology <sighs> it wasn't hard it was just real tedious the labs were tedious um most of these classes have labs as well anatomy has a lab um microbiology has a lab chemistry has a lab and i think that's that's just about it but you will have a lab with these classes so be aware um you will have a lab with these classes, so beware. My personal experience with microbiology is the class was not tough. It was really tedious. And the uh, professor uh, tested quite frequently, a lot of quizzes, a lot of tests. But overall, I don't wanna to speak too much of that, that class because I don't think most people have a problem with micro. But you know, in and out, thumbs up by me, right? Then you have uh, nutrition, which I actually enjoyed. Um, you learn about the different uh, type of nutrients that people need. You learn about different uh, scales that people are measured on, such as the BMI scale and how to learn like about fat percentages and stuff like that. So, you know, your diet is important. And once you become a nurse, you know, every patient that has a specific diet, you know what I mean, that they have to be on. And you learning about, you know, nut nutrition, learning about new nutrition, new I can't think of the word. One hour later. The nutrients for your body, that class is important. So I didn't have a problem with that class at all either, but this is definitely something that you would have to take if you want to enter a nursing program. All the classes that I listed, you have to take if you want to enter a nursing program. And I think the only class I didn't talk about yet is developmental psych. Now, typically you would take this as a freshman or sophomore, or maybe even like maybe the beginning 
of like your schooling experience. I know people that take like cl college classes in high school. This is definitely one of the earlier classes that you can easily take. Sometimes they require you to take regular biology. Same thing, I mean, regular, yeah, regular psych. Regular psychology class or general psychology, then developmental psych. But some some professors or some schools, you'll be able to get into developmental psych first out. With biology, you might have to take a biology class and then take biology. That is something that might be required. But like I said before, that's, you know, some classes have prereqs, some classes don't. It just depends. But um, yeah, those are the classes that I listed. I think it's every single class I've listed. Chemistry, AMP1, AMP2 biology microbiology development site nutrition i think that's it i want to say that that's it um i've listed all the classes that you need to take i'm going to put a little more information about them at the bottom as well but um yeah just know if you want to enter a nursing program that is a class that you're going to have to take and i just want you guys to be aware you know i've been doing cna content for I want to say a year now so it'll be a year like in january and we're almost at 2000 subscribers so big shout out to everybody that's been supporting the channel and liking the videos and all that good stuff and uh i just want to give you guys a quick hand clap because the support is crazy every like that i'm getting every comment i'm getting on the youtube channel is you know is appreciated and the channel is growing so fast i just i just all i gotta say is thank you but um yeah that's all i got for you on this video i appreciate y'all for watching i hope this helped and uh see y'all in the next one all right peace